you have started ROS2 right now and you are learning nodes, topics, messages. And your main goal is to start working on any of the three types, mobile robot drones and robotic arms. But the problem is how you get started. So in this video, we are going to be looking into explicit repositories for starting working on mobile robots, drones and robotic arms easily. All the links are going to be in the description. I will also guide you how you can make changes in the robot so you can add sensors into each one of them. Mobile Robotics ROS2 by Robotism is the repository we are going to be cloning and it is a public repository so you can obviously obtain it. Here I have provided all the wiki links for how to run these projects using commands. For now let's clone it. In my test workspace I am going to perform git clone this repository. I already have it. Here the project that we will be interested in is patrolling tb3 gazebo you clone it and then you perform call can build in the workspace directory you build and you source it and meanwhile you have to tell the system i am going to be using this model of turtlebot 3 this is important because of the reason that waffle.py contains all of the sensors we are interested lidar 3d depth cameras and all that so let's run this command that i have obtained from the wiki it is a big project and explained in the course at robotism where multiple robots are present they are surveilling different angles of a square room and they turn and do a lot of interesting things but important point here is you need to learn how to use this specific launch file the launch file that we ran is p2 multiple tb3 here if i just get rid of three robots it is going to then bring in only one robot and then you can understand how this robot is actually brought into the simulation for example the robot spawner one it deals with the package tb3 drive and p2a spawn tb3 which is the previous launch file it calls this launch file and in this launch file what is happening it is telling the model of turtlebot 3 that we have in our case waffle.py which is default it calls spawn entity and it brings in the urdf which is this path with this xyz coordinates it is complex but if you understand it you understand the whole ross ecosystem that you need a urdf you provide the path and you spawn it using gazebo ross spawn entity node now if you want to make changes in this robot model you can go into turtlebot 3 gazebo package and make changes in this model.stf folder if it is not running for you you need to install all of the sub modules on your system let's close it let's go into source mobile robots and here we have turtlebot 3 as a sub module so git sub modules in it sub module is there so git sub module update it is going to get all the files required into this turtlebot 3 simulation now if we spawn it we can see all of these files so the sdf model is models turtlebot 3 gazebo models and wafflepy this is the file that you can make changes and those changes are going to be applied to the robot so you need to understand if you want to add any sensor into it, you can make the changes and involve the sensors. If you want to see what other sensors are available, anything that has plugin is actually a sensor. So IMU sensor is there. What are the other sensors? Ray sensor is there and the camera sensor is there. So by reading the gazebo documentation, you can add more sensors. Mobile robots are 2D robots, drones and robotic arms are 3D robots and they are computationally expensive because of the algorithms we apply on them, especially on the localization side. Now coming to drones, we have different plugins for drone from ROS1 and I will also be using a different package here. The thing you need to understand is in ROS, you have multiple packages depending upon one another combined to form a simulation. That's what is happening so don't get scared with a lot of files. Just understand the plugins in your URDF and how it is operating. 
Next repository is for drones, drones ROS2 by Robotism. We can simply clone it into our workspace, CD test workspace, CD source and git clone this repository. I already have that. If you look into the running projects, there is a wiki link as we have for the mobile robot you cloned it you need to initialize the sub modules because there are some dependencies for it and if we go into drones ros2 and we write these commands we already have done it that's why it is not printing out something let's open up our vs code and drones ros2 sub module is sjtu drone the main repository that is bringing up the drone now let's look at the export turtle 3 model wifl pi this is for the project but we are not going to be running the whole project which is launching this file we are going to be running another file after performing the colcan build because after updating the sub modules you need to perform colcan build and source it as well we write the whole command and we remove this part Let's move to our VS code in the launch file drive drone. We have two launch files. One is to launch the whole drone with TurtleBot 3 project, but we are going to be going with a drone fly gazebo.rvis.launch, which is going to bring in simple drone and fly it in the air with a setup that I already have done. So simply you need to publish command velocity to drive it. And there is an RVIS visualization as well. With the keys I, J, K, L, I can simply drive it. It is working on command velocities, turning as well, driving. Now, interesting thing is on RVIS, we can see we have cameras that we can test. If I stop it first and bring it backwards, increase its speed it backwards to this point so there is a camera on the bottom and on the front as well if i put it here one camera one object and one object here we can visualize it barely in our camera so we have cameras we have distance measuring ir sensors for the ground and we can do a lot of stuff with it let's take a look into its file that is bring the sjtu drone bring up launch file and take off the drone in sjtu drone we have bring up and we have launch we have bring up simple bring up the important part is the driving command velocity is brought here rvis2 rvis is brought here it is calling gazebo multiple launch files are calling multiple things and here we have it the zacro file that contains the actual drone description which is present in sjtu description and that is a normal practice whatever we have underscore description package that contains the actual robots description in urdf sjtu urdf.zacro this contains all the model importing the plugins of the drones that we have that makes it fly imu sensors the sonar sensor and camera sensors running robotic arms in ROS2 is a little bit different than mobile robots and drones because we have controllers controller managers and we have even a move it motion planning system for robotic arm which is amazing it makes everything to be just drag and drop that's it and you can pick up a glass and place it somewhere in gazebo the thing is integration is the key for your understanding right now move it is not going to be working because it is a big step but you can bring the simple urdf add sensors to it and understand where the controller files are added in urdf the next one is robotism robotic arms ros2 you need to clone it first you can run through the wiki link as we have already done with the other projects let's go into our workspace source directory git clone and I already have it. Then you perform Colcan build. And meanwhile, if you look into the code, this is actually course repositories that I am showing you of robotism.com. All of these repositories represent a certain course which contains a big project like KUKA 6DF move it to configuration and the driving of it. At Robotism, you can go into the courses and find these representative courses that repositories we are looking at. Coming back to the repository and wiki, let's open up our VS code and first look at it. 
the reason i showed you the course is because it is not going to directly run here there are a lot of settings and packages that we need to install to make our robot run properly let me show you you have to source your workspace then ROS to run kuka arm package name of the launch file is 2 ROS to launch to gazebo kuka arm dot launch it is going to bring up our kuka robotic arm as we can see but because of the controllers are not set up properly it is going to be falling on the ground because of the gravity and frictions and not the controllers properly installed there might be some warning as well that ROS2 control load set active joint state process has died so the reason I'm showing you that you can bring in this KUKA robotic arm and from your perspective for starters you need to understand how you bring the URDF and Zacros and how you install the controllers and load them properly. You can get into the lecture series and understand in detail. I have also explained move it to configuration with robotic arms. ROS2 is a great tool for simulation because of the availability of the 3D sensors, depth cameras and a lot of packages by community to start learning robotics, implementing the theory which is the key aspect of learning robotics and you can see in a lot of job descriptions in very big companies that are utilizing ROS. So learning it is a great skill you must have, every robotics person should have.